Y como ustedes saben, es un amigo que ya ha estado con nosotros. Su nombre es Vidal Radonjic, es el CEO del grupo Beryl, uno de estos consultores que ayudan a los manejadores de fondos en la parte de lo que serían los fondos de cobertura. E indudablemente lo hemos traído hoy para que nos ayude a entender qué es lo que está pasando con la inteligencia artificial y cómo, fíjense bien lo interesante, muchas cosas de la inteligencia artificial estarían afectando el proceso de las inversiones de los inversionistas institucionales y que empieza a afectarnos a todos nosotros que tenemos nuestros portafolios de inversión. We would like to discuss with you what are probably those uh, real applications that you are seeing might have a benefit when the people are using what is called the LLM, Large Language Model, into the investment management. What are the ramifications of all those models when you are managing a portfolio? Thank you for coming, Vida. Hi, Victor. Thank you for having me on your show. Um, so, and thank you for the question. Topics like LLM, generative AI, energetic AI, uh, have been front and center at our annual Barrel Leeds conference, actually. So, current application, as you mentioned, of LLM and AI in investment management specific, specifically. Uh, number one, uh, it's research and market intelligence. So, natural language processing, which stands for NLP, helps digest vast volumes of unstructured data news, earning calls, filing, social media. LLMs like GPT are used to summarize analyst reports, flag sentiment changes, or generate macroeconomic briefs. Number two, we have a portfolio management. AI-driven models help with factor modeling, that's volatility, momentum, liquidity, regime detection, uh, i.e. bull slash bear market transitions, and portfolio optimization. Then we have risk management as well um, that is applied uh, very effectively. So AI helps identify hidden correlations and stress test scenarios. It can read and summarize regulatory documents, which, is, which enhances uh, compliance risk assessments. That's very important. Um, another thing is client reporting and communication. LLMs are used to automate commentary on portfolio performance and markets. And then deal sourcing finally on private equity and VCs Uh, AI scans the market for emerging startups, trends, or mergers and acquisition targets based on proprietary or third-party data. It helps ranks opportunities based on, let's say, growth, uh, intellectual property, teams, etc.